Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Noah from PhoneDog.com. This is uh, part two of our look at web browsing on the Sprint Samsung Instinct. Um, if you already checked out part one, great. If you haven't, uh, you can check it out. It's got kind of, um, well, it's the beginning of this video. This video ran kind of long, so I split it up. Um, one thing I'm just realizing now as I'm editing the video is I forgot to mention, I'll show you this on the phone, on the front of the uh, Instinct, I mean, on the web, the main web screen here, let me get the backlight on, in addition to going straight to the web browser, you've got shortcuts. Can I hold this straight? I don't know what's wrong with me. There we go. You've got shortcuts to uh, a bunch of little handy information services. So there's live search, weather, news, sports, movies, uh, my Sprint account, and other things. So in addition to the, uh, or not other things, tap to add other services. So in addition to the main web browser, you can configure, say, the weather app. Uh, it's like a little widget, and you can configure it to just give you the quick weather update for wherever you want. So I've got Oakland and San Francisco loaded in there, because uh, that's where I am. I read in another another review of the Instinct Online and a tech blog something about, you know, the writer was saying, well, why did they put web on a different menu? Why isn't web in fun? Um, and I think the rationale is that in addition to just the web service, they give you these web-based updates. So you've got the browser, and then you've got these widgets that tap into the web to pull out information. So I'll show you another one. Um, we'll go to the movies one, actually, because I think that's kind of handy. You click the movies, it gives you showing at my theater, showing near me and my theaters. And so then I can hit showing near me and here we go. It actually ties into the GPS to determine where you are and then it connects and gives you updates. So now I've got all the movies that are near where I am. I'm going to go uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I thought that was pretty good. And so it gives you the theaters near you, uh, times that it's showing, and I can confirm that these theaters are near me. So kind of handy. Anyway, on to the review. As always, there's much, much more on Instinct, a uh, ton of videos, some stuff in my blog, other things on PhoneDog.com. So check it out. As always, thanks for watching. And now back to the review. That was another one that a YouTube viewer requested. See, I do listen. I do read the comments. I do listen. <laughs> I'm here for you, people. All right, so ESPN, we're going to uh, the mobile mode. Uh, if you're a tennis fan, man, Rafael Nadal just dominant today. He bageled Federer. You'd never see that. Anyway, um, so here's the mobile mode of ESPN. We'll click the mobile mode, standard mode. And again, it's staying on the mobile site the regular version of ESPN. Okay, it looks like it is, I think. This is real time. I was going to speed this up and edit it, but this way you get a sense of, you know, how quickly it loads things. Again, Sprint said they're, they're fine-tuning the network, so to be fair to them, the network speeds may be getting faster, but that still, that wasn't too bad. Let's go into, uh, let's zoom out here, see if we can see a little more of the screen. The zooming, it catches up with you when you click. You notice it said uh, one half X before it actually shrank down. But so here's the ESPN homepage, and uh, it looks pretty good, you know? It, it looks pretty realistic, um, or I should say true to the, uh, it looks realistic. It looks true to the, the desktop version. Um, Go mini map here. This is where mini maps handy. It looks like it didn't load the top banner, which is kind of interesting. Um, that may be a JavaScript thing. The browser does not do JavaScript. So, and now I accidentally clicked a link, and so now it's reloading, um, which probably is me not being used. I'm honestly I'm used to the iPhone touch screen, and this screen's a little bit different. It's resistive, not capacitive. So Facebook Mobile. Again, it defaults to the mobile versions of things, which, you know, is a, is a smart move. They load faster. Um, you know they're going to work. And then with a lot of them, apparently not all of them, I couldn't get to the New York Times main site. Although that was probably my fault. There's probably a different URL I could use. So JavaScript is disabled. So there you go. Certain sites are just not going to work because there's no JavaScript on the browser. All right, so here's the phone dog homepage. And uh, it looks pretty good. I know we have, so here's all the videos. I've been spending my whole weekend making these videos for you guys. 
um, it's my job. I'm not complaining. All right, so here's the phone dog homepage again, and I'm going to show you real quick um, the right side controls. So this is your history button. Your history loads up. It shows the uh, favicons. I never knew how to pronounce that word. But uh, it shows the little website icons, which is kind of nice. That one, um, I stopped it from loading because I'd hit a wrong button. So that was my fault, not the phone's fault. Go to favorites. So it'll show you your web bookmarks, things that you've bookmarked. And then if you want to add the current page, you hit the pencil icon. Or I'm sorry, the pencil icon is to edit. The plus, obviously, is to add. So look at the pencil icon. You can reorder your icon, which is kind of nice. This screen appears throughout Instinct for reordering things. You can also delete things. So I don't actually want uh, AIM. I don't want CNN on here. I'll get rid of that. Delete the bookmark. Uh, you can reorder them. And then you can also hit the plus button to add... I don't know if I can do it from this screen. Maybe I have to get out of editing. There we go. So now I can add the current page. Go back, and then here's the search feature, which I'm going to search for... Uh, we're going to give... Even though I'm a Federer fan, I also really like Nadal, and he was just dominant today. That was just amazing. So we're going to do a little search for Rafael Nadal. And so... It's got a, you know, a custom URL there. They worked with uh, live.com to get your search, search results. And then you get to your web results. Um, you can do local search. There's music that's related. So it's, you know, powered by Microsoft Live Search. There you go. Obviously, you can use Google, Yahoo, whatever else you want. But the, the built-in search button takes you to Microsoft Live Search. And there you go. So that is the basics, although you will get these sometimes um, because it's looking for, uh, I guess it's trying to look for a mobile version of the site. I'm not sure exactly what's going on behind the scenes here. It's a Teleka browser for those of you uh, phone geeks. Um, but whenever I've gotten this page through Microsoft Live Search, there's always a View PC version link, and generally that will work for me. Again, uh, this may be something they're fine-tuning in the next couple of weeks before the phone is in stores. Um, so there you go. All right, now I can say it for real. That is uh, web browsing in a 10-minute nutshell on the, uh, on the Samsung Sprint Instinct. Overall, I think they did a good job. It's, you know, for every non-smartphone out there, except iPhone, um, if you consider iPhone not a smartphone, the Instinct is right up there with, with the best of them. It does full HTML. You know, it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't do JavaScript, which is a little disappointing, but a lot of the sites people use now have mobile versions. The mobile versions load up here quickly. They work well. Um, hopefully they can tweak a few things. Maybe down the line they'll add JavaScript support. Who knows? Um, but in the meantime, congratulations, Rafa. Vamos. And uh, there you go, web browsing on the Instinct.